Let us start chapter 4 multiplication. Let us understand multiplication with an example. As we can see in this picture that we have three groups of two pencils each in it. So if we want to calculate that how many pencils do we have in total, what we will do? We will add them all. So we will add them in groups. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 6 pencils. So we have 6 pencils with us. Let us see another example. In this we have 4 groups and in each group there are 3 brushes. So if we want to calculate the number of brushes what we will do? We will add 3 4 times. So we get the answer as 12. Now let us understand this example. In this picture we have two groups. Each group is having four pots in it. So if we want to calculate the total number of pots, what we will do? We will add the number of pots in each group. So we will do 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. So in total we have 8 pots. Now let us look at this example. So in this we have 5 groups, each is having 3 pigeons in it. So, if we want to add the total number of pigeons, what we will do? We will add 5 times 3 as there are 5 groups and each group is having 3 pigeons in it. So, if we add 3 5 times, we get the answer as 15. Now, there is another way of calculating the total number of pigeons. So, if we have 5 groups, we will take, first we will take the number of groups that we have. We have 5 groups. So, we will write 5 and then we will put the sign of multiplication. And then we will multiply with the number that each group has is having. So, there are 3 pigeons in each group. So, we will do 5 into 3 is equal to 15. As we can see, that if we, we have added 5 times 3, we got the answer as 15. And if we multiplied 5 into 3, we got the answer as 15. So if we have to add the same number again and again, we do multiplication rather than addition. Now let us see what is multiplication. Multiplication is the quicker way to add the same number. That is, multiplication is nothing but repeated addition. Into is the symbol used for multiplication. When each group has the same number of items, to find the total number of items, we can use another method called multiplication. Like the way we did this example. Now, let us take one more example. In this, we have four groups. Each group is having three fishes. So, if we want to add the total number of fish, what we will do? We will add three times four. Now, as we have learned that if we want to add the same number repeatedly, that is again and again, what we will do? We will do multiplication. So, first we will take the number of groups. So, there are four groups. We will do, we will write four. And we will multiply 4 by 3. So 4 into 3 is 12. Now let us understand some terms of multiplication. In this it is written 4 into 3 is equal to 12. So the first number 12 that is the number that is being multiplied by the another. So this number is known as multiplicand. Now 3 the number that is multiplied so it is known as multiplier and finally the answer that we get is the product. So remember these terms while you do multiplication. Now let us understand factors and product. So Factors are the numbers that we multiply. That is in this example it is written 6 into 3 is equal to 18. So 
6 and 3 are the factors and 18 is the product. So, the numbers that we multiply are the factors and the answer that we get is the product.